Hello friends, today I am going to discuss with you about the radiographic feature of a congenital anomaly in a dog. If you see this radiograph, so you will find that this is a lateral radiograph uh, and the cranial part of the abdomen. So if you see, so this is the vertebral column and this is the diaphragm, this one is the diaphragm. These are area of the lungs and this is the caudal margin of the heart. But if you see here, so this is the balloon like structure. So this balloon like structure, it is nothing, it is a esophagus. So this esophagus uh, is dilated cranial to the heart. You could see here, so this uh, radio opaque structure is nothing, it is the barium sulfate which we fed to the dog for the contrast radiography so that we can ensure that this swelling is nothing, it is the esophagus. Even if you see the barium sulfate has not uh, filled in the whole esophagus, but still you could see the boundary of the this dilated esophagus. So this congenital anomaly is seen when the there is a Persistence of the right aortic arch which connect from aorta to pulmonary artery and uh, it acts as a band like structure and this is the reason why uh, there is a dilatation of the esophagus cranial to the this persistence of the right aortic arch. Puppy doesn't show the sign till maintained on the milk but once the animal shifted from milk to the solid diet or semi-solid diet so then animal starts showing the sign. In such case uh, so there is a regurgitation and uh, there is also a respiratory distress because of the, this distension of the esophagus so definitely it causes pressure over the lungs so this is about the contrast radiography of the persistent right aortic guard if such type of ballooning you see on the radiograph of a puppy with the history of the regurgitation after feeding so then you suspect for the this congenital anomaly condition thank you very much